Hello and welcome to the Mountain of Knowledge here in Verbier. On today's show, we've got a slice of local weather wisdom from the farmer. We've got the extended 10 day snow forecast. Geraldine Fastnack will be explaining how to access and ride backcountry lines. But first, we're going to kick things off with a lesson in how to service your steed from the inimitable Monsieur Pedrus. <laughs> Ah, hey, uh, you catch me with a little bit of me time, huh? Uh, but no worry, I have my iron ready, so uh, what say we do a little bit of ski and snowboard service? <laughs> Monsieur Pedrus! Monsieur Pedrus! So, undoubtedly, this is the most uh, intimate time you're going to spend with your skis or your snowboard. So it's important to use the right things to show that you're bored. You love it like a, a woman, maybe. So, some people they like to use these things like the techno kit, but for me it's more about the produit naturel, like, like uh, first maybe du vin. This works exactly the same as the base cleaner, just a little bit of vin rouge on the base, like that. Hey, un peu pour moi. And when you're ready, you just uh, massage that in like this. How you say in English, uh, waste not, want not, huh? So just clean it off a little bit with the tongue. Uh. <sighs> then it's time for hot wax. I don't use the wax, I use uh, olive oil, but uh, for me you still need the iron, huh? And you need to check it out, huh? Ah, sapé le popet! Ah! That hurts so bad, huh? At least we know the iron is hot, so. So, rather than the wax, for me, I take just a little bit of olive oil and this is the best way just to uh, soften the base up. The board is totally oiled and ready. Here we go. Absolutely love this. Okay, and now you can see the iron is so hot, we can uh, just chuck on a couple of onion. This release a really nice uh, natural chemical into the base from the onion. Just, uh, there we go. See that? This is my secret. I tell no one this. Onion on the base to make it uh, really, really fast. Oh, is super. Obviously, the oil is heat up, but maybe it spits a little bit. Ah! Sans de bonsoir! But uh, for me, it's just a sacrifice I make for my board, huh? Je pense ça c'est bon. Uh, I, lay, I leave that now just for settle a little bit. And uh, obviously you need to take care of the edge. If you ride the piece, to me I don't ride the piece so much, but uh, first thing you use, little cornichon, just uh, rubbing this on the edge, like this. And uh, that take out all the burr. The cornichon has the perfect consistency for take out the burr. And uh, when you're done, you just chuck these on. These have the same effect as the onion, seeping into the base, just getting all of that natural oil facing into the base. It's perfect. And then uh, you need to sharpen the edge. So you just take a knife like this and uh, if you chop your sausage, just on the edge like this. Perfect. See that? And you sharpen the edge. Next come one of the most important part, the structuring of the base. This is like putting the tread on a car tire and everybody think you need one of these. In France we call it the vert méchant, I think in uh, English, the green mini. But for me, I use the old baguette. You know, this is so stale, so rough, and it gives natural structure to the base. So just take this and rubbing along the board like this. And you can already see, like I get a good, good structure. And then if you use this bit at this end, like this, and then uh, just come to the middle, pop it up like this, and not only is the board serviced, but you have the best baguette sandwich you ever make, huh? Bon appétit. Ski and board servicing from a PG-13 S&M dungeon. Who'd have thought? Onwards and upwards, though, we're now meeting up with Verbier legend Geraldine Fasnack. She's going to show us how to first scope, then access and ride backcountry lines. Base jumper, wingsuiter and freeride world tour champion, Geraldine Fasnat was born and raised in Verbier and no one knows this terrain better. But if you want to find Geraldine, you've got to head into the backcountry.
Geraldine, what are your top tips for riding a backcountry line safely? I would say first uh, check the conditions to be sure that it's safe um, and then pick up your line. Take a picture, study your line uh, as much as possible to be confident into your riding. And if you take a picture, you can look at that if you get lost on the hill and work out if there's anything dangerous below you. For sure, you can, uh, you can still have the picture if you are in trouble, but the best is to be not in trouble. <laughs> How do you do that then? Do you try and recognise features on the face? It's, uh, it's really important that when you're on the, at the bottom of the face to try to find features that you can see from above. So a wind leap would be super easy to find or a couloir would be easy as well. And you have to think about uh, if the, the, the face is really steep, you have to think about the slough can come down. So if you stop in the, in the face because you are not sure about your line, the slough will push you down. So you have to think about that a lot. I've heard you say before that rocks are quite difficult to recognise from above though. The rocks, are, it's pretty tough to see them from above because they are covered by the snow and from above you don't really see the, the form they have. But sometimes there is really big rocks on top or big rocks are, uh, on the left side or right side, right side of the couloir that are really sheer and you can see them really well. So you really have to pick in the face what is really special. You check the snow is good, you take a picture of the line, you look at the line from the front and pick out three or four features uh, and then you try and recognise those features from above. What's left? Ah, you have to enjoy your riding. <laughs> the perils of following Geraldine Fasnack. We're now at the top of a solid 45 to 50 degree shoot and I've got to get down but moreover the man holding that camera has got to get down. You alright Zoid? Woo! Amazing! Bonsoir, mon petit chouchou. Je m'appelle Graham Bell! Pearls of wisdom from Geraldine. If you're not confident riding off piece though, go back and watch episode one on this link. Bertrand will teach you everything you need to know to get started in the backcountry. Right now though, it's time for the lowdown from the local. It's the farmer. Les riches sont venus cette semaine. Je sens leurs cheveux. Je pense lundi, mardi, la neige, après, c'est du soleil. A life spent living in harmony with nature versus a complex scientific model. Let's put them to the test. These are the extended snow forecast maps. Well, the snowfall map for the Alps from the last three days shows the first lick of spring for most places, with clear settled weather prevailing. Only one meaningful dump just east of Verbier on the Swiss-Italian border. Everywhere else just got a light dusting. Now give the farmer a prize. The next three days up to Wednesday have another front pushing up from the south. Heavy snow for the southern side of the Alps, just a sprinkle for the north. But three to six days out and the weather settles down with a high pressure dominating everywhere except that southwestern corner. It's still cold though, so if you know where to look up high, you'll still be able to find good snow. Six to nine days out and steady warming means that there's rain up high for some of the southern Alps, but everywhere else clear and settled. But as you know, these models are always changing. So for more up to the minute forecasts, go to snowforecast.com. That's it for the mountain of knowledge here in Verbier. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>